days of squeezing the last drop from your shampoo bottles are over. Thanks to researchers from the U.S., we now have a material which allows sticky liquids to flow freely. And this has big implications for recycling. I am Luchka Bibic, and I spoke with Philip Brown from the Ohio State University about his latest invention. One of our main sources of inspiration is nature. And in nature, there is a leaf called the lotus leaf, which is a classic example of a self-cleaning surface. The combination of surface roughness and the waxy coating results in a surface that causes water droplets to bead up on the leaf and roll away. As they do so, these water droplets pick up contaminants from the surface and help keep the leaf clean and healthy. Nature has a very limited toolbox with which it can work with. And if we want to repel liquids like soaps and oils, we must use chemistries that nature doesn't have access to. But why throwing the plastic bottles away can be seen as a serious environmental problem in the first place. Plastic shampoo bottles are highly recyclable. Unfortunately, many people do not properly rinse out these containers before they add them to their recycling. The leftover products in these bottles can cause issues during the recycling process. With our surface modification technique, the shampoo is now less likely to stick to the inside of that bottle, so the bottle is more easily recycled which is good news for the environment. So this slippery surface allows the drops to roll off rather than being stuck there, right? But how did you develop this surface that would help me getting all my shampoo out of the bottle? The bottom material that we developed has nanoparticles embedded within the surface of the plastic. We then add a special chemistry to this roughened surface. And the combination of this chemistry and the rough surface results in a bottle which can repel the soap that it's carrying. So all the product is able to slide out of the bottle with nothing left behind on the inside of the container. So when I'm drinking juice, why is my juice not sticking on plastic surface and soap is? Well, soap contains chemicals called surfactants, and these are the molecules that give soap its cleaning power. However, these surfactants also like to stick to the surfaces of the inside of the bottle. Juice, on the other hand, is mostly water-based, and water has a high surface tension, and this means that it would rather interact with itself than with the bottle. So it's easier for a bottle containing juice to be completely emptied than it is for a bottle containing soap. And what does this nanoparticles base coating actually do? The nanoparticles have two roles. Firstly, they are embedded into the plastic surface to increase the roughness of that surface. And by doing this, we are able to trap air between the bottle surface and the soap, which, when combined with the special chemistry we add on top, helps to keep the surface clean. The nanoparticles are also very hard, so including them into the surface helps improve the robustness of the material. Is this surface stable over time, or at least as long as the shampoo bottle is in the use? Well, shelf life is very important, and we're currently conducting tests to determine the shelf life of our surfaces to ensure that the bottle surface remains free from soap for the life of the bottle. Uh, can your invention be scaled to a mass production level? We believe that this method is scalable. The materials we used are cheap and easily available, and the process does not require any extreme conditions like high temperature or pressure. That was Dr. Philip Brown, a co-inventor of the bottle that squeezes out the last drop.